how does he do it? Carson, how do you do mm -hmm. it every week? beautiful weekend in store. <laughs> well, I mean, it takes a lot of negotiating with Mother Nature. We appreciate all the extra hours you've been putting in because we've just been spoiled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and, and she's a hard cookie to crack because, you know, we've had the cold temperatures, mm -hmm. we've also had the rain, we've had all sorts of things, but, you know, we can live with this. We've got comfortable temperatures outside. It's also mostly sunny for most locations across East Texas, and that's expected to continue here for at least the next next several days, but there are changes on the way, but let's just enjoy these temperatures while they last. We are in the middle 50s along I-30. It's 57 in Lindale, 58 at Tyler Pounds Airport, 56 in Chandler, 56 is the current reading in Noonday, and even for Cherokee County, we've got comfortable temperatures. It's 52 at the Cherokee County Airport, 59 in Jacksonville, 53 is the current reading in Rusk. For Southern Rusk County, we are at 56 in Mount Enterprise, and then 59 for Huntington, 59 is the current reading in Lufkin and the warming trend continues. So we started with this yesterday. Yesterday afternoon was a little warmer than Wednesday afternoon. And guess what? This afternoon is going to be a little warmer than yesterday afternoon. We are about 5 to 10, even 12 degrees above where we were at this point yesterday in some locations with Lufkin being the warmer spot at 13 degrees above its 24 hour reading from Thursday. 65 degrees. That will be our high temperature today. So perhaps 10 degrees warmer than what we saw across most locations. Mostly sunny with those winds out of the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Those skies are going to be clear tonight, which means we're getting down to about 42 degrees. So if you have plans this evening, you might want to grab that light jacket because colder weather is on the way. But heading into this weekend, it's going to be the complete opposite of that because area of high pressure anchored over central and south Texas that will continue the warming trend and it's also going to be dry and sunny for Saturday and Sunday. But rain starts on Monday and this is what we're dealing with heading into your Super Tuesday. I know a lot of people will be at the polls. If you are shaded in this yellow region, there is the possibility of you seeing a severe thunderstorm warning in your neck of the woods. So you need to be weather aware. Make sure you have that East Texas Storm Team app handy just in case you do get under one of those severe thunderstorm warnings. And again, make sure you have the East Texas Storm Team app. Make sure you have those umbrellas and make sure you have a safe route indoors if you do happen to get caught out in one of those thunderstorms. But we are tracking the storm threat. Nothing this Sunday, not much on Monday until Monday evening, and then the radar really starts to light up. This is seven o'clock. Storm system moves off the or through the area by about 11 o'clock on Tuesday morning, and then by Tuesday evening, it does start to push out of the area, but we do see a widespread rain event for all of East Texas, and Wednesday should actually be pretty nice with temperatures back into the 60s. 65 today, 70s Saturday and Sunday. Rain chances Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, we're watching Super Tuesday very closely for both East and Deep East Texas. Cynthia. Thanks, Carson. We'll lay new beginning unfolded in the skies.